That's it. Everything is automatic. The bot buys, it places stop loss, it places the target, it sells it. And sometimes like when um, the coin is a little bit struggling to go past the target price, it will understand, the AI will understand like, okay, there is a huge sell wall here or something else is happening and it will sell the market order. So a lot of things are in place. So th this is the most easiest way to begin with for anybody without any human intervention. So it's absolutely plug and play. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Crypto Weekly podcast, the show where we interview the top influencers, investors, and crypto executives in the space. I'm joined today with Guprasad Venkatesha, the co-founder and CEO of B-Cube. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for uh, inviting me to the show. No, no problem. And just um, a little disclaimer for our viewers, B-Cube is a partner of the channel, and I am personally invested in the project. And I like to make that clear beforehand because this is actually a project that I really believe in. I put my money where my mouth is and I wanted to bring you on the show just to explain a little bit more about the great work that B-Cube's doing. For the people that aren't necessarily as close to the space, maybe introduce yourself uh, and kind of what B-Cube uh, is, is out to accomplish. Sure. So my name is Guru Prasad. You can just call me Guru. Uh, I'm the co-founder and CEO of bcube.ai which is the ultimate all-in-one AI-driven crypto trading platform. Uh, we, are, we are creating a platform where you can get everything related to cryptocurrencies as far as financial side is concerned. So the most important parts are uh, crypto trading bots. That's what we have and we are developing more advanced bots using machine learning, reinforcement learning and everything related to artificial intelligence. And then we are coming out with education platform like where people can get educated about the trading and um, what is technical analysis, what is fundamental analysis, how to spot a scam and how to read uh, tokenomics and stuff like that, which is very, very, very concentrated on uh, trading on to one side. And on the other side, we are also bringing some courses like Solidity uh, to learn a little bit about coding for Ethereum uh, smart contracts and other kind of educational stuff where people can learn and build something on their own. Um, we are also building something far more sophisticated things. Uh, for example, we do have a DEX trading bot. We are building many bots on uh, decentralized exchanges like Uniswap for the moment. Uh, this bot, you don't have to pay any entrance fees or uh, any kind of management fees or anything as such. No subscription fee whatsoever. Uh, you, you, you have to like, just uh, uh, put your funds in the smart contract where only you have the function to call back the funds and we cannot touch your funds. Uh, whenever there is a trade, once the trade is finished, uh, we divide the profits uh, in the ratio of 80 is to 20, which means 80 for the clients and 20 for the B cube. Uh, only if we make profits, if we make loss, we get nothing, absolutely. So this is the first time in the world such a thing is happening. Um, we are also creating like B5 products wherein uh, your money, which is in the smart contract, Obviously, it's not earning anything. Just imagine uh, you are Binance accounts or any Kraken accounts or any centralized exchanges where you keep your Bitcoins or Ethereum, but it's not paying anything to you if you just keep it as it is on your exchange. Um, but only when you trade, of course, you will make profit or loss, whatever it might be. So, But we are creating actually uh, a kind of uh, smart contract based product where your money is earning APR just because you're staking. I mean, like your money is not used for the trading. But uh, once there is a trading, of course, the BT, WBTC or uh, ETH will go for the trading and it comes back to the smart contract again. So when there is no trade, it's earning. When there is trade, it's earning again. So this is a kind of thing that we are doing. And going forward, we would like to have a complete marketplace where you can select the bots of Bcube or bots for, uh, from the third party service provider also because we, we will create a very healthy competition between us. And ultimately the users of BQ platform will be the winners because they will choose the best one. But we want to create this kind of very healthy competition. Uh, of course, the last thing that I would like to say in this one, uh, what we are doing very exciting, uh, because I'm always excited to speak about what we do, uh, is build your own AI ML bot. So, so far you have just build your own bots where you have to build everything from the scratch. But what we are doing here is little different. 
we are giving our ML model, which is already working to you, and you will build something on top of it. Uh, and you will back test it and you will see like uh, the results in the back testing. Um, later on, you can use it for yourself if it's good, or you can rent it to somebody else also. So in a nutshell, this is what we are doing into trading, into building your things, building community and building educational uh, uh, platform. Yeah, there's there's so much to talk about when we when we talk about the, the whole B cube ecosystem from stake and trade to build your own bots using existing uh, AML. I wanted to maybe start just with the ethos of the project and what really drew me to B cube was that it, you know your focus is on building decentralized tools to allow anybody to become a great trader, um, and it scales up from you know beginners all the way to experts. And you're building something for everybody and kind of demo democratizing these tools that were in the past only available to the biggest hedge funds. Can you maybe talk about why this, this focus on decentralizing the, the tools and also educating the marketplace is so important for you? Absolutely, because um, if you see any other platforms, they just try to get more and more clients in the platform, but there is no education there. And if, if in, in, our point of view is a little bit different, of course, we need clients. Uh, we, we are a company and it's not a charitable organization. We want clients, of course, but at the same time, we want to make them aware of many things so that they can be autonomous also, not just blindly, you know, like going for the bots, but they should be educated as well. At least they should understand what's going on with the bot. Uh, the strategy selection and why it selected a trade and what kind of technical indicator it is using and how the machine learning models work. These kind of things they need to have a basic knowledge about because complete back box is also not so good because people don't get it later on and we cannot really scale uh, the business. So uh, it's very, very important for any trader to understand how to trade. And if somebody else is trading for him, then how they are trading. These two aspects is very important. And also, it was my own experience uh, in 2016. Uh, we, uh, I mean, like myself and our family and friends, we invested 120,000 euros. We grouped the fund. Uh, we started to invest in several ICOs. Uh, it was very bad because we lost all of the money in very scammy ICOs and in kind of like Ponzi schemes. Everything happened. And at that point of time, only one thing was going on in my mind that somebody were holding custody of my funds. And that's why it was possible. And there was no proper education to us to see like what was a good project and what was a scammy project because everything looks good on the paper, but there is far more things that you can see if you have that type of knowledge to see it. So this, this is what I saw in my own case as lacking. And I came to know like there are so many people because more than uh, two or $3 billion of funds were scammed during those times in the ICO boom. So I really saw it as a big problem in this industry because crypto industry, even today, not everybody is so comfortable for the obvious reasons that we have to accept. There are a lot of scams here. So we wanted to like solve this problem, but at the same time, building a very credible product. So that's, that's how like we came to uh, the conclusion of decentralization and democratizing uh, the whole, uh, you know, like crypto trading or financial system. Mm -hmm. Then it happened once that um, we were looking for the world's most uh, successful hedge funds, and we found Renaissance Technologies. Uh, Renaissance Technologies has delivered 67% returns on an average uh, ever since 1988 till 2021. And that's really, really, really amazing. Uh, the problem is that not everybody can participate in this fund. Uh, only selective people can. And there is a kind of like cutoff limit for every uh, single funds that they make. Uh, some of them are very much reserved for their employees, for their close friends and their old investors or whomever the company uh, would like to choose. But some of the very uh, so-and-so performing funds, like it's, it's available, but who wants to go for, for those things? So I thought, okay, if, if really efficiently uh, performing uh, financial products uh, it's available to everybody, then scams can be prevented because people go for it and they earn good and everything is so good. It's so nice. But if you restrict something to somebody, then it's not for everybody. So there is a little bit of friction between my ethics and what was going on really in the industry. 
And that's when we came out with an idea that we will create a product, which is institutional grade. Uh, and also I have experience at Morgan Stanley at the institutional desk. So I know both sides of the business like B2C and B2B. So we thought of like designing a product which is used by only super rich people with using advanced technology and with a lot of research and development, but at the same time, making it possible for a common man to use it. So that's how the idea came up with, with all these things that happen in our own life. Yeah. And it, you know, it, it shares the ethos of the entire ethos, the entire um, crypto community wanting to just make things more accessible and democratized. And, um, and, and so I, I fully, I fully back that idea. Um, one thing I wanted to chat about is your recent ICO, very successful ICO. Um, but along the same lines as what you were just talking about with uh, your experience in ICOs in 2016, 2017, one thing I loved about Bcube was that you already have had a working product before you went to ICO. So maybe talk about a, a little bit about your experience in the throughout the ICO pro process and why it was so important to have a a, a ready working product um, for people to buy into already instead of having, you know, having the wool pulled over their eyes, um, like has happened so many times in the past. Absolutely. So uh, to answer this question, to begin with, uh, that when we went for the ICO, we already had hundreds of clients and we are currently making $35,000 of uh, revenues every single month. Uh, but when we went for an ICO, it was very successful. And the reason was it was mainly backed by the clients themselves. Mm -hmm. They saw the product. It was really working for them. They earned very good money. They got the trust. And they could really see our honesty and how we work hard for them, being available to them, answering their questions, and making a weekend webinars every Saturday at 3.30 CEST time. They could really see the commitment that we have and also, we were very clear from the beginning that we are not here for money, actually, because if that is the case, then we can do so many other things. But we are here for making a business, of course, but at the same time with a proper vision, the vision of creating something amazing. So this is what they really liked. And these things, if you just put it on a white paper without any action, it's not really going to uh, click to anybody. They really like to see some action. Um, if anybody wants to talk to us, they would like to see what we have and not what we will have five years down the line. And what we have seen in the past, all these scams that was going on in the ICO space or generally in the crypto space, very beautiful, wonderful looking white paper, very crisp and very, very beautifully designed and very nice wordings with all the catchy word and buzzy word. But the intrinsic value is absolutely zero. There is nothing. And this is the reason like why we wanted to change the trend and not just changing the trend, setting the standards in the industry. So we, we said like, look, don't invest in an ICO which doesn't have a product and which is not having a client. Because a person who cannot start a business and cannot have revenues, even if you give him money, it's, it's not sure that he will be able to do it. Because if you make some business initially, then go to public and say that like, hey, I have you know $50,000 of revenue, but if you give me money, if I raise money, then I will be earning like $250,000 in six months down the line. That's the way business should be, whether it's in crypto or anywhere else. But if someone is coming like, look, I have zero and probably I will have 100K like two years down the line after I build my test net, main net and everything. And probably he will never come out with a main net. There'll be some technical difficulties or probably he himself will not be uh, there anymore. He, he might have run away with uh, your money. So this is the reason like why we wanted to set a standard in the industry at the first place. That's why our ICO was very successful. And we, we gave like many use case for the tokens. And, and that's the reason like why it was very exciting for people. Uh, we, we spoke about the democratizing of uh, the, you know, like of the trading systems that we, we spoke some time uh, ago. So our Bcube tokens, uh, it's very, very unique because this kind of arrangement has never happened so far. What we are giving to people is if you have at least 1000 US dollars worth of Bcube tokens, and this is going to change every month because we don't know the price, how it will be. Sometimes it might be 10 cents, sometimes it might be $1, we don't know. So this, this thing, we will change it every single month, first of every single month. So if you have $1,000 worth of Bcube tokens, then you get one bot for free, absolutely free. The more you have, the more benefits you are going to get it. And not just that, 
you're going to get APR of between 20 to 30% per annum. Not just that, you will get like access to several other things uh, like education platform that we are building currently where people can select their educational courses in a discount or some things are even completely free. So they get access to a whole lot of things, whole lot of things just by holding the tokens. And we are also thinking of one more thing. Uh, right now, we have been approached by a lot of uh, hedge funds and a lot of uh, managed funds. So they, they are asking us to build a custom-made algorithm for them or to manage their accounts using our current algorithms. But we will not manage their funds using our current algorithms because this is for B2C. And we don't want to mix these two things because of our ethical reasons that small investors will be at a disadvantage if we do that. So we are building custom-made algorithms for them. And at the end of the year, whatever profits that we make, uh, that profits we are thinking of um, uh, taking certain amount of percentage of it, like maybe 30% or 50% and sharing it with all the token holders as a kind of fees. It is subject to um, approval from the French regulator. Currently our lawyers are working with them and trying to find a way to make it. And if it happens, then it's going to be very great for all the token holders and entire BQB ecosystem. Um, not just that, we are also thinking of one more thing that from, from August, 2021, till August 2022. All the payments that we receive for the bots or other services in BQ tokens, we will be burning 100% of it. Wow. So whatever comes, we will be burning it completely. Plus, whatever uh, the fees that we are receiving in fiat currency, like US dollar or Euro for buying of the bots, uh, in, in this, let, let me say we will receive 100 euros, 25 euros out of it, we will be buying BQ token and we'll be burning it. So 25% from the fiat revenues, we will be burning B cube tokens by purchasing it back. And 100% whatever payments that we are receiving in B cube tokens until next year. And we are going to bring down our total circulating supply from 50 million that we have right now to 25 million in the next three years. So that's why our token is completely different from any other token that that, that has come in this trading space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's truly i love the tokenomics because it makes it truly a community token you know not just are you buying this for the upside financial potential but also for all the um the services that it offers uh within within the bqb ecosystem i think you know for, for for my next question i think a lot of people when they hear about trading bots they start to get nervous and they don't necessarily fully understand what's involved and they just think you know, I, I'm a beginner trader. How am I ever going to get started with something like this? But truly, Bcube is 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 very different. It's so plug and play. It's so easy to integrate with FTX or Binance or any of your your uh, exchanges that you're using. Can you talk a little bit about just getting started with Bcube and how easy it is to to create an API and just you know let it let it start trading plug and play? Absolutely. Anybody uh, before even using our bots. I would suggest them to come on Telegram and ask any of the clients to get some feedback, the real feedback from the clients. And only after getting the feedback, they can start to use our services. Because this is the only bot which has performed so good, so well. And not just that one, it's completely automatic. Because the customer journey is very easy. They have to go on our website, bcube.ai. And once they are on the website, they just need to sign up for an account, which is completely free. Then they will enter inside the marketplace. They will select a bot, whichever they like, and they will just integrate it uh, using their API keys, whether it's FTX or whether it's Binance or BitMEX, it's the same procedure. Once the integration process is done on the dashboard, they will be able to see a green sign, which means like, yeah, it's, it's you know, like it's integrated properly and you can start to trade now. And that's it. They don't need to do anything. There is kind of like small setting they need to do. For that, they can go on 24 hours customer care support that we have on our website. A human will be there and it's not a robo. 24 seven, anytime somebody is there to help them or to assist them. And from there, they can come to our Telegram or slightly they can come to our Telegram. We have a separate channel for bot settings. It's just very simple actually, just making like uh, just three second settings, just pressing buttons, that's it. Everything is automatic. The bot buys, it places stop loss, it places the target, it sells it. And sometimes like when um, the coin is a little bit struggling to go past the target price, it will understand the AI will understand like, okay, there is a huge sell wall here. 
or something else is happening and it will sell the market order. So a lot of things are in place. So th this is the most easiest way to begin with for anybody without any human intervention. So it's absolutely plug and play. Amazing. And, and one thing I think is so refreshing about the BQ project is just your focus on community, community support, having an actual person on the telephone, um, the telegram channel where you have such a vibrant you know, conversation going. It, it's such a, it's such a marked market shift from many of these other projects that are building fast just to um, gain market share and grow. Whereas you guys are taking, I think the right approach, which is building your community first. And that becomes the backbone of the project into the future. I think the th the second thing people, you know, might worry about when starting with trading bots is the trading fees, right? When, how do I know if a, if a bot is trading in and out of all these different projects, am I going to be paying fees, especially if it's on a decentralized exchange? Are you going to be paying all these gas fees for Muniswap? You guys have a very different approach and you actually have an algorithm to cover those, those trading fees. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Absolutely. That's a very good question because this is the question what we get from all the customers when we speak about your Uniswap trading bot because the DEX trading bot, it's very, very different uh, because it covers 120 uh, transactions in just one gas fees. So even if there is 120 clients on the smart contract at that particular time uh, for this particular trade, then we will be paying only one gas fees. And this is paid by Bcube, not by the client. So they don't need to worry about anything. So we are going to take care of it. So even if it's like $100, like Ethereum fees, like which was a few months ago, like the highest one, 150 and some crazy uh, ETH network fees. Uh, it, it will be just $150 for us for 120 clients. So that's very, very cheap for us. Like just like under uh, $2 or a dollar per client. That's absolutely fine. Because even if we make a 10% profit out on uh, $10,000 collective fund, then still it is $1,000, which is way, 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 way higher than what we are paying as gas fees. So this is where like we have an edge when it comes to DEX trading bot. Because if we had to pay for every single client, then our own profit margin would have been very small. Uh, we wouldn't be earning much. But here in this case, like for 120 clients or 120 transactions, we just pay the gas fees only once. If it is 240, yeah, we pay twice. Because there is a limit like only 120, per transaction. And this comes from Uniswap actually. Otherwise we would be happy to make it like thousand per order or like even 10,000 per order. Fair enough. It, it sounds like a great, almost almost like a second layer scaling solution to the to, to the Uniswap trades within, within your organization. You touched on this briefly, but I think it's such an amazing tool and I'd like to hear you maybe uh, go a little bit deeper on it, but the stake and trade functionality that you guys are building. Um, having the ability to earn interest on your coins and also have the ability to trade in and out at the same time. Um, can you maybe talk a little bit about stake and trade and, and how that works? Yeah, sure. So this product is like DeFi stake and trade. So what we have is like the trade portion now that is completely fine and we can start to use it at any, uh, at any point of time. Uh, but the problem is about the DeFi side because we currently are in discussion with few DeFi providers um, we are also in discussion with Mantra DAO currently because they launched us on their launch pad and we have very good relationship with them. They're very nice guys and they are always uh, very communicative and very helping actually. So we, we are also in discussion with them. Um, they, 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 have, they have promised us something like we can work together in this uh, DeFi stake and trade. So if, if everything goes fine, we will be launching this product along with them so that like they will give us the DeFi solutions and we will give the solutions of trading together. So uh, with, with someone like Mantradao who have proven their business and it's, it's a very credible name in the industry and they, they, they are doing very, very good in this space. So uh, we want to create kind of like smart contract together, like wherein like DeFi side will come from them and the trading side will come from us. So this is how we would like to build it. Uh, let me say like for USDT, normally the interest rate is between seven to 12%, depending on uh, the company. Some companies are paying seven, 10, 12, it depends. So uh, here, let me say like, we will be starting with something like 10% per annum. So even if there is no trade, uh, because at BQ, we don't believe that you need to trade every day and there needs to be a trade every day. We don't do that. We have some statistical tools 
where we will put a kind of confidence intervals. And if the confidence interval is like very, very, very uh, uh, low, then there won't be any trades at all. So that's how like we will cancel the trade. It's not that actually models are not triggering the buy or sell. It is, but the statistical tool is not allowing that to go into the system. So uh, at Bcube, we believe that only when there is a very good trade opportunity, you have to do it. If there is no trading opportunity, there is no trade at all. So in this in in, in this setup, I think B5 stack and trade makes sense because in, uh, uh, let me say like in May or uh, April when the markets a little bit started to shake, uh, there were many there were many days when there were no trades at all. So the money which was there in their uh, Binance account was not earning anything because they they they're believing totally on the bots to make them money. So here in this way, uh, their DeFi solution is earning money anyway. So they don't need to worry about it. When markets are fine, when we trigger a new buy, of course, that trading goes on and they can earn more money. So that's how the DeFi stake and trade happens. Yeah, it's such an amazing innovation. And I feel like Bcube continues to innovate on, on your existing projects. And, um, you know, it's just such an exciting time, not only for retail traders, but for the entire industry to have these tools available and ready at their fingertips. We are unfortunately out of time. Guru, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you and best of luck in the future with, with your project. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure talking to you. Mm -hmm.